Chris. With the boosie. Hit him with the boosie. Well, get out the pool, man. Y'all saw the video? <laughs> you can probably just put the clip on and post. Women don't get paid like me. Exactly. Women don't go through the stuff, bro. Yeah. A woman pussy bleed. Like, bro. You know what women go through, man? Sit your ass down, man. Get the fuck out the pool, man. Get your ass out the pool, man. Real <laughs> shit. You cheating, yeah, bro. I mean, Get your ass out the pool. It's not acceptable in my mind. I don't know who gonna agree with me, but I'm gonna tell them, get your ass out the pool, man. This girl been training her whole life. You got girls been training since they were four years old. Their shoulders not made like yours. Right. Like, bro, I mean, think it's about not, it. bro, come on, man. She competes, I'm assuming, in the women's division. Yeah. Yeah. That's stupid. He ain't wrong. I mean, I'm, there's obviously better ways to say it, but he's not wrong. <laughs> That's why we love Boosie. Boosie is going to Boosie 24-7, 365, no matter who's in front of him. But to be fair, this um, young lady has not won all of the competitions that she's entered. You don't have to. That's not the point. Clearly one of the ones that matter. You shouldn't but, be competing with them anyway. Yeah. You know what? Instead of, you know how they was making transgender bathrooms? Mm-hmm. They just start making make transgender game. leagues. Because this is ridiculous. This is Because it doesn't matter. I don't care how much estrogen you pump into your body. Your DNA is that of a man which is physically more than a woman. Like you can do more physically in regard, just naturally, athletically. I mean, it's not the same. There are like you can put an two old... women in the WNBA that could dunk. Yeah. Like think about it like this. Dwayne Wade is what? 30, no, he's 40 now, right? If Dwayne Wade was just, it's hard for him to compete in the NBA now. Uh -huh. But if you put him in the WNBA as he is now, uh -huh. he's averaging he will average 60, 40, and 20 a game. every game. Bro. <laughs> 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 that is Joanna Man. Just complete. You know what I'm saying? So Real it's like, yo, you Joanna can't man. compete as hard, you know, and on a level with the dudes anymore. But if you were to drop him in the middle of the dumb, he's winning the MVP. That team is probably winning the championship. He's getting an all star game MVP, and he's scoring, you know, 50 points a game. Just because you physically can't keep up. That's not anything against he, women. Even if he started to take female hormones? No, 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 no. I'm saying just as I'm saying his natural DNA, the, his bone structure, his bone density, all that stuff is that of a dude. Yeah, but if he started to take female hormones. Does it change it that much? You got the pool, man. I know like when you start to take estrogen, like, you know, you lose a little muscle mass and different things like that or whatever the case may be, but it's just, you can't undo your DNA. Personally speaking, I don't really agree with it. I think, I don't think Boozy's wrong at all. I'm just saying, cool girl. we bleed. I know that is not something that people want to hear, but that is the, and no matter how much estrogen you can put into your body. You cannot make a uterus and an ovary grow. I mean, show the picture again. I mean, look that like, was look, a, that was a dude chin. No, my, no there's out no here looking like Zach Morris. Estrogen that's going to de chin the, the dude. <laughs> <laughs> you, can't, you can't do it. You can't, you can't do it. <laughs> okay. You can't do it. So what about if a woman transitioned to a man? No. And she's getting clapped. She's getting clapped. If you if you take a woman, so put for example, MMA. If a woman wants to compete with the men in an MMA, you would let her do it? No, they train with men, no doubt. You know what I'm saying? But I would full fledged like I wouldn't put a woman in with it. Three dude. round fights? Nah, you ain't doing that. It's terrible. Um, like if Ronda Rousey, if she decided to, and I know that she's not 
But if she decided that she wanted, because she's strong, she's athletic yeah, build. Yeah, she's a beast. You know, beast. yeah. If she wanted to decide to take testosterone and she wanted to bulk up and, you know, transition, do you think that she would be able to compete? She's getting clapped. There's this thing in animals called dimorphism or something like that, or by some dimorphism where the male species and the female species are vastly different. You know what I'm saying? Like a female lion is not going to be the same weight as a full grown male lion. Just genetically. Same thing with men and women. I'm glad you, you brought know what up lions. You're born with, huh? I said, I'm glad you brought up lions because I was about to use that as my example. You feel me? Like, you won't. But I'm here to stay because I'm a mean old lion. Yeah. Same with dogs. You can have the same breed of dog. You know what I'm saying? You can have a female pip or a female Doberman. The male Doberman. Female Doberman is not going to grow as There's big as There's no male. pit male as big as Jade. What? There's no pit male <laughs> that is hanging with Jade. Jade is little. I mean, she's not little to the people on the street. They... People see her and it's like, oh my God, he's walking with a lion. That's just because they're <laughs> scared of dogs. But Jade's little. But the thing about it this way. That's because she's she doesn't like cameras. I would be like, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't even know what that is. She really doesn't like cameras. If you put the camera on it, she turns around, she's like, please, no pictures. But like talking about the lions, like what would happen to female lions if there was no male lion around? One male lion is per, like two not even two male lions are patrolling territories of like two three hundred miles like a pack of hyenas we're talking about maybe 15 to 20 hyenas that's like a fair fight with a male lion let alone two not you even was a battle lion king? you was watching lion king i'd I be on the lion stuff all day <laughs> <laughs> me and the lions all day i'd be in here watching nat geo all day Nah, cause they be walking around here. Nah, for yo, they be in here like, yo, what are you watching? Are you watching your little cat shows again? I'm like, first of all, show some respect. Lions, tigers. If I if, if I could afford it, I get a lion as pet. You're tripping. But you know what? I didn't even think of that as far as the pride, the pride lands, and how the one or two lions, male lions, they protect like my pride and miles. lands. It was just Mufasa. Everything the light touch. I don't know if you ever saw the video where the um there were two brothers. They were out patrolling. One got caught up with a pack of hyenas, and then he, you know, he was giving out the call. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, help. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> cool, cool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? he was giving out the call and he was, you know, trying to fend off these hyenas. But he was overmatched. He was only he was overmatched for as long as it took, just meaning like he was gonna tire because there was just too many of them. Uh -huh. But you know, if he had like unlimited stamina or anything, it would have been over. Uh -huh. So he's out there giving a the call, like, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Help! You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Somebody, like, bro, where uh -huh. you at? Uh -huh. Dude came out the woods, and all of a sudden, one more lion was enough. And the hyenas was like, deuces. <laughs> they seen, they didn't even, they, it wasn't even a fight. They just seen money coming out the bushes. They were like, oh, it's time to go. Just one. But you can literally have five or six female lions and it's just like, yeah, we about to get run over. And it's not saying it's it's definitely nothing that like women are, you know, inferior to men. It's just the physical makeup of the male species is just how I, I don't really know the right word for it, because no matter what you say, it's gonna make it seem sound crazy. Yeah, but it's, it's just, gonna sound crazy. Then watch your mouth, watch your mouth. But the physical makeup of the man is just stronger or more athletic however you, you want to put you, it you, you get you get one of those mama bears the one of whatever animals those are that you you messing with they cub yeah it doesn't mean no i might say that and that's the thing it doesn't mean that the female lions you know are incapable but it's just like one female lion might be able to deal with you know one maybe two hyenas whereas one male lion is tearing apart 15 to 20 of them by himself they're just physically bigger you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, bite pressure. You're going to have me watching Nat Geo. 
I got the line. I got the whole lion dialect down pat. Not you seen the video people. when um the people were doing the safari and the lion jumped in the um in the yeah. car bus? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm with that. Nah, B. You my know, heart, my heart would literally be in my toe. You're gonna be minus a weenus, dude. That's that's just, <laughs> <laughs> that's just I wouldn't you do that. Do something with the weenuses. <laughs> I wouldn't oh. advise that. I'm, you know. Like, think I don't know if you guys watch um the WNBA. But if you just look at, like, the, I thoroughly enjoy the WNBA. Even when it's fast paced, it's still slower paced than an NBA game. The best center in in the WNBA is not defended Demarcus Cousins. It's just not happening. It's not happening. You're not like, defending the Shaq. You know what I'm saying? You're not defending. Can Brittany young. Griner defend Shaq or Demarcus Cousins, or can um? Um, Liz Cambage, Cambage, can she defend Demarcus Cousins? She's good. Asia Wilson, like these dudes be dunking on grown men, like six six Listen, dudes. You know what I'm saying? Like grown do do? men. I, I think grown this men, strictly grown athletic men, speaking. grown men, six foot five, grown men, probably maybe like 250, 260 pounds would probably cow cower if they saw a Shaq full speed coming at him. Probably did. <laughs> like, oh. They ain't want no like, pieces of that dude. Like, if I saw Shaq full speed coming, I'd be just like I would with that lion. <laughs> Yo, you never saw the clip when the ball was going out of bounds and Shaq was chasing the ball and the bench and the cleared? the whole crowd, like. <laughs> <laughs> like the whole side of the area just cleared, like, nah, so we That's ain't with terrible. it. Let me tell you something. If I saw Shaq coming at me full speed, I don't care. You try to take I... one of them around our test elbows. <laughs> <laughs> See if you get up after that. <laughs> Woo. Mm-mm. No, sir. You take a Ron Artest elbow. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mm-mm. Imagine getting headbutted by Zaza Pachulia. It's over. It's over. <laughs> you're not you're not coming back next season. It's done. It's done. There's no coming back from that period. Mm-mm. 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 I would be fully concussed. That's a career ender right there. It's just point. That's my point. And that's my point. So it's you're just saying, you're saying that, just that this this young lady should not be competing in women women's um because she that's like I said, one. she did not win all of the competitions that she swam in. I can be a great skier. You know what I'm saying? And I can be on Olympic levels. That doesn't mean I'm going to beat Lindsey Vaughn because that's a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? Like I can be a great swimmer. Doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to beat you know, other female swimmers who might be better than me at this particular thing. But if we're talking kind of just as a whole, like to some degree, like in a vacuum, just like, yo, man versus woman athletically, it's not good. Okay. So y'all are saying that transgender athletes should have transgender sports yeah, why not? transgender teams i actually have a question about that too huh like i got a, I got an interesting question <clears throat> it's probably really not that interesting but i was actually thinking about it que pasa? when exactly do you become transgender like at what like when is it just once you think that you're something like hey, bro, where, what is I, you, that's bruh, a whole different bruh. beast of a conversation that I am following. Here's why I ask. We ain't, we ain't got know. that information. Because there's going to be a whole bunch of like, oh, it's not about, you know, genitalia. It's not about this. So is it a mental thing? Like you think you are. So, you know what I'm saying? As I think, so I am. You know what I'm saying? Like, is that where we're going with that? Or is there a point of like, okay, once I start taking estrogen pills, then I am now officially trans or is it once you know there's a reassignment of you know the genitalia now it's this but then they'll be like well the genitalia doesn't make anything doesn't change anything or does it that's not what it is well then what exactly is if you didn't transition then how are you trans so i'm saying like what exactly are we transitioning to where does the trans come from if you never change anything i, I think it's a valid oh, question man. it's understanding who you are like if some, it's like somebody asking you like yo so what's it like you know 
like a genuine question like yeah what's it like to be black or what is the black plight or how is how does the black plight affect you or whatever if you're genuinely asking i'll genuinely explain it to you so i'm asking so i can understand but you know people don't be wanting to ask questions they just want to tell you stuff we can have that you, you want to tell I you want to tell me you. about me but if i ask you a genuine question all of a sudden like i'm homophobic or i'm wrong or something weird like that i'm like yeah i'm just asking because i i kind of just wanted to know i'm just saying yeah, cool man yeah, the pool, man. I'm with Boozy on that. I don't think it's fair, and it's not. It has nothing to do with the person. It's just I don't think it's fair. You ain't gonna win every race that you compete in, no matter what. That's fine, but you still have a physical advantage. That's kind of just what it is. All in favor of her getting out the pool, man. I just don't appreciate because I feel as a black woman. I feel like black women are at the bottom. Like if you have the totem pole, the bottom of the totem pole is right here. Black women is like right here. No, oh, yeah, you already know how that order goes. White men, white women, black men, black women. No, oh, you forgot all the other races. <laughs> oh yeah, true. So <laughs> and then, white and men, then... white women, Asians, black men, no, Latinos. I nah, just put other women. Just other Only women, women. Yeah. Or, or, or everybody else. And then you have black women at the bottom. So we got to, we got to literally deal with everything else. We got to deal with everybody thinking we this, we that. Well, the bottom is the foundation. It's the strongest part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha ha. Yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. But that ain't what niggas think we are. We opinionated, we got attitudes, we got mouths, we, we always got something to say. And you know what we do? You're about nine out of ten on that one. Yeah. It's not, I'm, it's I'm, not a bad I'm, thing. I'm ten for ten, you know. But at the end of the day, um, we have literally held the world and civilization civilization on our backs, right? And we've literally had to see our men taken from us and then our children taken from us and then see our men raped. Fuck breaking. And then have our men watch us be raped and then watch our children be raped. And then have all this other stuff happen between then and now and then you know they totally take any type of femininity away from us like when you look at black women from slavery up until now there was never any femininity to a black woman they never made a black woman feminine feminine and um elegant and soft and beautiful she was always mamie and yes sir, yes sir, i was coming yes sir. you know it was always that type of woman she was never just like soft and elegant and dainty it was always like the white woman that was just so, so, so she was the one that was the damsel in distress she was the one that you know the white tears just, <laughs> because i just go <laughs> that was always the white woman and then we have to endure through all of that, endure through all of this, and then go through all of that, and then go through the suffrage movement, go through civil rights, go through women's lib, and then just when we start getting our footing and start feeling like, okay, we finally are being seen we finally are being seen as women we're starting to embrace our beauty we're starting to embrace ourselves and the, the and who we are as women and now it's just like well no because now and it's not saying that i'm not happy for them you living know truth. living in their truth but it's just like yo your I truth and this, my reality are very different. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh no, I feel, I feel like 
Effie and, and Dream Girls. Get in line, Effie. Wait your turn. But you understand what I'm saying? So now it's just like, <laughs> now you want to swim? So, and it's not that I'm trying to take a, because I, I'm not. I'm really not. And I, and I, if I'm sounding like I am, that is not my. Is a competitive advantage. Period. This is what it is. And it's not fair. Which is why that question in the, um, guy Kim Taji on um, Brown, Brown Jackson. Jackson. Brown Jackson. Like when they were like, what define what a woman is to you or, or, or a female or whatever. That question was so loaded. Because mm -hmm. they want they wanted her to say something. They knew what they were doing. Yeah. The woman of the year thing. Uh, uh, that, that was kind of, I mean, it's not, it's funny, but it's not funny. But it's, it's interesting. To say the least. I feel like I feel like Effie after I'm watching the the, the 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 TV and I see Beyonce doing her one night only routine. All right, so just as an example, like I was talking about before, <clears throat> the hundred meter world record for a woman is ten point four seconds. The world record for a man is nine point five seconds. So it's just a second. Yeah, but that second is like the difference between first place and not even like you might as well not have been on the track with that dude. Because you got to think about it. Nine, five is first place. Nine, eight, nine, nine is probably last place. Maybe not 10, one, 10, two might be last place. Well, in favor of a trans. Um, Dr. Pooh, man. <laughs> Even though he'd be saying, he don't I think care. He, he'd be saying the stuff that he would be thinking. Yes. He just doesn't say. He might as well run for president. Yeah, he just doesn't necessarily say it with, you know, grace. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in to another episode <laughs> of Up for Debate. Make sure y'all yeah. go check out that podcast, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, for everyone to listen to your podcast, bro. We on there. Tune in. Those are facts. No matter whatever it is, you know that it will be up for, for a debate. debate. And we're out. And that's a wrap, folks. <laughs>